All right, well, Katie, the rain held off for at least much of the day for people to enjoy the Columbus Day weekend festivities. Oh, that looks so good up Federal Hill. The uh, four day event bringing people from all over to Atwell's Avenue. Of course, did you see that sausage and peppers? Oh my gosh, that looked amazing. That's where Lauren Brill is right now. Uh, the drops falling even just a little bit outside now, Lauren, not keeping the crowds away. It looks pretty busy behind you. Well, Erica, as you can see, it's raining on and off here, but crowds are still gathering behind me, sticking it out, enjoying the festival. Now, I just spoke with Rick Simone from the Federal Hill Commerce Association, and he says despite the weather, this is one of the largest turnouts he's seen in over five years. A slight chill in the air and clouds in the sky did not stop people from heading over to Atwell's Avenue for the Columbus Day Weekend Festival. There's a lot of us full of a lot of Italian pride right now. An event packed with classic Italian cuisine, live music, and a parade. Rick Simone with the Federal Hill Commerce Association tells me this year's turnout has exceeded expectations, and it's exciting to see. All businesses have overcome so much over the last few years. Like you said, whether it was the bridge, whether it was the pandemic, Pandemic. We've all worked really, really hard to get to this point. Steven Anderson, owner of Casarinos, has been working on the hill for years. He says this event is all about bringing the community together. Great food, uh, some great drinks, great wine. So it's fun. Now there's still time to come out to Federal Hill and check out the festival. The event goes until midnight tonight and tomorrow is the last night. Live in Providence, Lauren Brill, 12 News.